a test one two test one two a test one two test one two a test one two test one two it's a test it's a test a test one two test one two it's a test it's a test a test one two test one two and i got one person in here who may that be can i see i can't see who it is. oh oh there it go right there mr mike the hebrew diamond shorty what up with you neil Tolliver. yo i want to get shit straight up in here what's up with that uh big cho from 138th and lennox what up with you man oh man i got a lot to talk about man i got a lot that i want to discuss um and a lot of it is about politics before i get into this misa fabulous justin and all this other stuff mark my words y'all you people in florida mark my words ron de santos is going to change his whole ideology about the 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 the, the lgbt community if he wants to be president of the united states of america he's going to change his whole ideology so don't be fooled by that I heard George Santos, George uh, Soro said that they're going to back Ron DeSantos or whatever his name is. Is it Ron? Is it Ron DeSantos, y'all? DC Heavenly Body, help me out. Grumpy Bundy. Is his name Ron DeSantos, Monique Irvin, Dana Jacobs? Somebody help me, please. I'm throwing a lifeline. I need some help. Please, somebody tell me. I think it's Ron DeSantos. DeSantis. DeSantis? Or is DeSantis? Okay, Ron DeSantis. Thank you, uh, uh, Corleone Jr. Appreciate you. Ron DeSantis. He going to change his whole day ideology because the dude who backs Black Lives Matter, Soros, says they are backing DeSantis. And he also said, like he had a conversation with him personally, he's willing and he's in the position that he wants to move up. So what does that tell y'all? <laughs> Look at my Ronda races. <laughs> What up, white boy from Clearwater, Florida? What's up with you, boy, boy? We take them all, man, for real. You understand? I don't care who come to this channel, man. You know, check this out, man. I want to do my disclosure right here from front because I'm tired of people telling me or uh, hitting me up and wasting their time typing it up. And this is one individual, and they seem pretty uh, genuine, and I understand where they're coming from. Joker. That dawn. Gene, I stopped watching the show because you take a long time to get to the story. I love your stories and the knowledge and life that you speak, Big Unk. But the stalling and the consistent stopping and responding to every comment, it'd be like you're taking, you're talking to yourself eventually. I just give up. And somebody got on top top of his head and he said, uh, Edward Newsom, Mr. Newsom, Mr. Newsom ain't nothing to play with y'all. <laughs> Mr. Newsom said, you don't have to make a speech, Queen. Just tiptoe away, ballerina. That was kind of harsh, Mr. Newsom. You understand? I understand that. But I told uh, uh joke, I said, yo, listen, in life, you're gonna, you're not gonna please everyone. You come in contact. They pay writers, they pay for, they pay writers and have scripts for people to entertain other people. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this off the top of my dome. I write little notes to myself so I don't forget shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because things that are minute, sometimes you want, you may forget them. Good morning to you, Dana. What up with you, mama? 
So you might you might forget them. And the reason I do call people name out, I want to interact with you. You know, this is difficult for me, no matter what you may think. You understand? It's hard to come here and keep your attention. You understand? Motherfuckers be jumping in, jumping out, this, that, and the third. And I understand it's just me. This shit is live. This ain't nothing that you see somebody, oh, doing takes and coming back to. And I got to watch what I say. I got to watch what I say so I won't be sued. I got to watch what I say so my program won't get taken from me. Because it's a lot of shit If we was on the street. I might come out and be a totally different person and tell all of, and spill all the shit. And then motherfuckers, if you got me recorded, I might be getting sued or something. Might be. I don't know. But that's what it is. What up, Mr. Old School 32 and Roger Mudd? Hey, Reesey, what up with you? What's good, Jamal? Reesey, it's coming down. It's coming down, Reese. You know what I'm saying? Another week, man. You're going to be really seeing how Gene deal food tastes. <laughs> oh, Joe PG, he was a grade before you, a grade under you and stuff like that. All right, man. Did you slap him in his head every once in a while? Punk ass motherfucker. Bow. <laughs> Brandon, what up with you, man? I love your, your enthusiasm and how you was coming up with shit on the show last time, Brandon. I appreciate that, man. Not saying that everybody else don't do that, but you was on point on a lot of shit, bro. Thank you, sir. Hold on. Oh, uh, thank you, Dan. Dan. Look at Dan. Tell me, you make it seem easy. <laughs> All right, now check this out, man. You know, I don't give a shit what nobody say. Like I met Trump before and I'm get through with this politics before. I didn't, I met him by saying, hey, how you doing, sir? And stuff like that. But he was with uh, Diddy. Um, Wendy Williams and Al Sharpton. And it was in the fourth season. They had a meeting way before he came president. So I guess he was just trying to tell him because he probably knew that way before he became president that he was going to be president. But President Trump and Trump, they don't want him to be there because he had a conversation with Kanye West. He had a conversation with Ice Cube and he's willing to have a conversation with other people, too and bring them to the White House and see what we need in the whole nine yard. And they don't want him on our team, y'all. They don't want him doing anything for against their agenda. And he is totally against their agenda. He's totally against where they're trying to take the American people and the public. He ain't the right motherfucker. I'm just telling y'all. You understand? But, you know, I tell y'all all the time. Do you want Satan or you want Lucifer? Pick your poison. And I'm going to leave that with that. Cleveland United Records. What up with your boy out there in Cleveland? Joe PG again. All black production. All right. Check it out. Misa. Oh, my God. A lot of y'all tried to put it on me. And made me to believe that I said, I think y'all was listening to old boy tell that lie saying that I told him that Wolf was Justin's father and everything like that. And I never said that. I never said that. I may have made it in the windows that he looked like more than Wolf than he do Puff. And anybody who's do the side by side and look at them. That's true, but he also looked like his mother. And Misa looked like she could have been Wolf's sister, but she has that Asian in her. Yeah. Anyway, I talking about Misa is that I used to bodyguard Misa. This is outside the Diddy contract and the whole nine yards. Because she was in fear 
for herself because Puff wasn't making it easy for her. So when I stopped effing with him, I picked up Misa and I gave her the low budget price. Misa, just call me when you need me. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna make sure you straight. Make sure you get back in your car. Make sure you get on the highway and everything like that, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing. Meese used to talk to me. What y'all don't understand is, is that by me coming to the YouTube circuit, I lost a lot of industry friends, but I gained y'all. Industry friends, y'all. Industry friends, y'all. Industry friends, y'all. I'm blessed just to be here, y'all. <laughs> Pretty gangster. I'm going to get your book and Ron. I know you live in Hackensack or whatever like that, but if I ain't got no last name, I'm not sending no book, whether it's free or not. You got to, Ron, you got to give me a last name, bro. Okay? Shoot me a last name, Ron, and I'll get your book out with Pretty Gangster today. Thank you, Pretty Gangster. You say, I love your show, Big G. All right. Robin. So now, I haven't talked to Misa in years, but I seen something online and I don't know how much to believe, but I know Misa. And I know one damn thing about Misa. She ain't play about her child. Misa, I know she's Asian and I know she's black. But she like one of those damn mamas that it will tear your ass up. She did not play about Justin. I know this for a fact. I've been in situations where I told Misa, but let me not go too far into this. Because if I get right down into the story real quick, somebody going to say, oh, he changed it because... I got on top, I told him about it, or I did this and that, like, nigga, I'm gonna do my show the way I do my show. But anyway, Jan Unden, happy, happy Monday to you too. What up, Jazzy Lobby? What up with you? So now, 2020 twin, what's up with you? So now, she did not play about Justin. Now, let me just go back to this part. And this before her man died, Alpo. Before I knew Alpo and Misa, Alpo told me personally, Misa was his girl. K. Slay had already told me two years before, like when he first got out of jail. He was like, you know, I'm fucking with Misa, right? And I was like, word? Get out of here. I don't got money like that. <laughs> when you got to have it, you got to have it. But what niggas didn't know was that Al had a little white boy that loved him to death. He met his family through the Fresh Air Fund. And Al used to take bags of money up there to that little white boy as he was getting older. So I don't know if he invested it. I don't know if he put it away. But Al had a resource that he could send K. Slay 10 pairs of motherfucking Timberlands when he was locked up. I was still getting money when he was locked up. 
Now, I don't know what the little white boy was doing, but I know for a fact, because I know somebody who was in law enforcement that was going up there and taking trips with Al to drop those duffel bags of money off back then. So before Al sat and had a conversation with me, I had already knew that Misa was his girl. So when he talked to me about it, he was telling me, yo, Gene, Misa love, still love you. I said, to, I'm thinking to myself, and I, and I, I didn't say this, to, I did say this to Al. I said to myself first, I said, well, I ain't do nothing to her. She owed me when she stopped fucking with me. And it came out to Al too. I said, yo, Al, I ain't do nothing to her. She had owed me, you know what I'm saying? Then she stopped taking my calls and then she, I didn't hear from her no more. He told me, and I had already knew this because Misa was telling me that Puff was fucking her up on the child support, wouldn't pay her the, the money that she was, what you call, she had to go back to court. He was, he was dogging her on the child support shit. And the niggas had money. He was giving Kim twice more than month, way more than money that he was giving Misa. But Misa wasn't effing with him. Misa wasn't going to be one of those girls like Sarah and her and Kim and allow him to dog her out. and mess with her after what she did after he what he did with Kim it was over she was never trying to get back or be one of his baby mamas that he could go back and forth and do all this and do that so he was dogging her on the child support shit and I was saying man he was dogging her man he had a man fucked up and I, I already knew that and I understood that. But he said to me, on everything I love, he said, I want y'all to sit down and talk because we about to start this whole thing up, you know, and I want y'all, I want you to be doing security, Gene, and I want you around like that. But I want y'all to sit down and have dinner and I'm like, and talk and everything because she know you didn't say it per se but you didn't uh what he said his words were you didn't uh stop it when people brought it up you made it a, you made it seem like it could be or it couldn't be or some shit like that so when he said that we all gonna sit and go to dinner i was like dinner sit down <laughs> in my mind i'm like Nigga, I ain't gonna. You know how you had that, that one on your shoulder? Nigga, I ain't going to dinner with you sitting down nowhere. <laughs> and you had that other motherfucker on the shoulder. Well, Gene, it might be all right. You know, you know try it. Yeah, you, know you get to see Misa again. And then you had other motherfucker say, Nigga, you got to be out your rabbit ass mind. <laughs> Oh my God, wasn't going to do that. <laughs> you want to bring me a doggy bag out? <laughs> and we talk on the phone? <laughs> Shit. Yo, listen here, man. Come on. I went and got another box. I went and got a fresh box. And that was because of Miss Terrell. Miss Terrell, I sent those other two books out. I told you she sent me two hundred dollars, and she said uh, uh, she didn't put nothing on there. I thought it was, you know, I thought that it was, you know, trick money. I thought that was like, yo, I got two hundred. Whoa! And then, cause she had bought one book, 
But she said that she liked it so much and her husband liked it so much they was going to get it for the friends. So I was like, oh, okay. So I had to buy a whole new box. I bought a whole new box. And y'all go. So if y'all want a signed copy, this is what y'all do. Cash App or PayPal, Big Gene, My World Bodyguard and Hip Hop Star. Or, uh, and I'll send the book to you. Got to put your address on there, man. Please. Y'all making me work too hard. I'm cash apping people money back, whether it's a dollar or whether it's they hold $50, and tell them, yo, put your address on it. Y'all got me working too hard, man. So now, let me get back to this. Because, yo, this shit is about to get, yo, I've been, I've been dying for this shit. So, Misa always been that type of girl that she ain't play that shit. If you got my book already, I'm going to just tell you a little snippet of it. One day, Quincy and Justin was sitting behind me, and them niggas want to hit the bodyguard play. Let's play hit the bodyguard in the back of the head. Boom, first one hit me. So I said, okay. I know Justin don't do this, but I know it was Quincy ass. I say, I ain't going to say nothing. I'm going to see if it's going to happen again. Boom! Hit me in the head again. Now, both of them did it. So I asked, turned around, I said, which one of y'all hit me in the back of the head? Nobody said nothing. I grabbed both of them little niggas' hands. And I squoze them shits into the fucking, until they start crying. Squoze both of their hands. I say, you do not play with grown folks. You better not ever do that shit again. Do not play with me. And squoze both of their hands. I got Misa on the phone. Misa. Justin is sitting behind me with Quincy. And I don't know if he was the one, but I got two hits in the back of the head and I squoze both of them little niggas' hands until they start crying. Misa was like, Justin, no better. I'm a Tazan. Gene, Gene, put him on the phone right now. Put him on the phone, Gene. I was like, we about to get a, <laughs> a child protective service case. <laughs> we about to. <laughs> what the? <laughs> she was on fire. She said, she know I put that nigga on. I put it on speakerphone. She said, yo, don't you ever. Justin, when you get home, I'm going to tear your ass. Justin wasn't no good for the rest of the day. <laughs> Justin, you want this PlayStation? I guess. <laughs> Justin, you want to go to Six Flags? I might as well. <laughs> Kim came downstairs. Quincy, mommy. Gene scrolls our hand. Uh, uh, Gene scrolls our hand and, 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 and hurt our hand because, you know, he thought one of us hit him in the back of the head. She said, Gene, you scroll the hand? Like that? I said, yeah. She said, next time, uh, uh, Kim said, next time you tell me or Puff if one of them do something. I said, no, next time you tell your kids don't play with grown folks. That's what you do. I don't come from that school. Chance Rogers, what's up with you, boy? And Chancey Live. Yo, I don't come from that school. I come from the school. If your kids and I'm taking care of them and they do something bad, they do something they don't supposed to do, I got them. I'm doing the show. I'm going to call you as soon as I finish. All right?
if I'm responsible for your kid's life, because if they do something that distract me and I'm supposed to catch something before then, they got to know better. Mo, you ain't that. Mo, 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 you, Mo, Mo. Hold up, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. I know all y'all going to get mad. All y'all going to get mad. And she might be doing this on purpose. But... I got to straighten it out because sometimes you got to keep that pimp hand in shape. Oh, she said, good morning, my boo. All right, Mo. Okay. Good morning, my mom. She just know how to get to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just messing with y'all. I'm just messing with y'all. So, yo, Reese, Misa never played that shit. So, what she said online, or how she demonstrated what she felt about her child, she ain't playing those games, and she never ever had played those games about Justin. So when Justin is acting like his shit don't stink, let me tell you, Misa will wipe his ass. He a grown ass man now, but she's still not playing with him. Ruth Mo said, damn, Gene, you blushing hard as hell. <laughs> you hear what GS Move said? G Smooth 404 said, listen, that's how we was raised. Wherever your ass act up at, that's where you get your shit taken care of at. Hey, Betty White, what up with you? <laughs> yeah, Misa did not play that shit. So now she went in on old boy. Said, nigga, you was the greatest. You went from being the greatest and now you want to sell death to your people. And I was like, I know I said it and I know I was talking about it. And some of y'all are smart enough to catch it when I'm talking about the fact the white people didn't want to put Deleon and Sir Cock in the black neighborhoods like that. And he was pushing it that they do it. No, no, no. She ain't tell no lies. She ain't tell no lies. That's the Misa I know. Me and Misa got a lot of shit that we talked about over years. It was a lot of niggas just trying to get at her when her and Puff wasn't messing around. You understand what I'm saying? And I would forever hold her secrets straight to my heart. Even though I know because of the industry and some of the people that when I got at Puff, they feel a certain kind of way. Because I told stories 
about Mary, they feel a kind of way. I just told what she said to me. I was like, damn, don't y'all know the story. Y'all know the story. Mary, her girl. But I'm telling y'all, and I was telling y'all that, and people take it out of content. When me and Misa was together, you understand, we was going over to the Cheetahs Club. And what I mean by together, I was bodyguarding Misa. Mary was in there by herself. I call her, I call her manager, say, yo, why is Mary in this motherfucking place by herself? She couldn't afford security. So Mary was telling me how great and how good it was that Puff had me that night. And she was telling me her stories and her trials and her tribulations and what she'd been through. And she said something that was shocking, but that's how real it was. And I'll put that in the book. You know what I'm saying? That's how real it was. When I mentioned it before, motherfuckers think that I was going at her. No, I was just trying to let motherfuckers know that, listen here. If she had to go through this shit and she's still not a multi-millionaire, if she still got chains around her neck that she still owe for, what the F you think you're going to go through? What you think going to happen to you? As soon as a Mary song come on, people are up dancing and jumping at the multitude. And she still got bills and more bills and couldn't pay them at the time. Reese, you just went in, ma. I know you heard the story, but damn. <laughs> yeah. So now, Misa being the queen that she is, Misa keeping the reputation that, you know, she had, because let me just tell you something. And, and brothers, let me just say something to y'all, man. It's a lot of mothers out here that do whatever they got to do to feed their family, man. So don't look bad on a person who got children and see that they might be messing with this dude or fucking with that dude. You understand? They might miss with they might be messing with this dude or messing with that dude because they got to feed their kid. They got to clothe their kid. And and, and they still Got their career. Some women are still go to work every day. And then fuck with a nigga because he a financial entity for them to support their kids, to help to send their kids to private schools. You can't fault all of them. They might like the dude a little bit. So when niggas say, well, Big Big Jing, she was out there with Suge Knight and stuff like that. She went out there for a job. And she probably got paid. And Suge having the money, Suge doing what he was doing, he may have fucked her. Oh, and? It is what it is. We don't know because somebody around somebody, that don't mean they hit, but anything's possible. Y'all hit that cash app. If you want the book, that's big gene 52. I got about 20 of them left. We got seven comments. What are the comments? 
Now, Misa, as a mother, she's like, nigga, you putting out a song act bad in the climate that we have today? Act bad? And you supposed to be bringing some social some social consciousness to the people and you want to say act bad and I understand y'all stole it from the Queens ra rapper what's her name y'all can somebody help me with that Queens rapper she made that shit two years ago I know Reese you know I'm listening, Argo. Say your joke, all right? They signed copies, Gary Lockhart, Lockett. If you get them straight from me, it's going to say Big Gene. That'd be me. Yeah, Dana. Dana, they stole the whole song from a Queens rapper. People on here know who I'm talking about. Reese, you know the rapper? Oh, there I go right there. Robert the second. Robert Gary the second. Swinderella. Not Spinderella. Swinderella. They stole it from Swinderella. Do anybody know what the title of this program was today? Somebody put the title of Reese. What's the title of the program today? I want to show y'all something. Because y'all don't catch shit. Hey, Momo L. Y'all go and listen to the Swinderella joint. Act bad. Same title the whole nine yards. The same beat, all that shit. The same feel, all that shit. Thanks, Reese. Yes, that's her name. I got confirmation. At that. And the climate that we have today, this nigga gonna push. Yo, these niggas ain't got no type of conscience. They ain't got no type of conscience. They don't give a shit. I'm finna prove something to y'all. Somebody put my title up right now. This how nice I am. Y'all don't understand how nice I am, how deep I go sometimes. I would have been deep like that with LJ. But they can't handle it. Listen, look at that. Diva, look, look at the title. Gene Deal. That's the Misa I know. Fabulous queen and don't have to act bad. None of y'all gonna get it. None of y'all gonna get it. Let me see how deep y'all is. Is my man Brandon in here? Because Brandon might get where I'm about to go to now. I love this. You got it, Reese. Don't tell it, Reese. Please don't tell it right now. Let let, let, let it let it marinate, Reese. It's it's like when I no homo when I'm about to cook, and I'm cooking a good lamb chop. I take the spoon, the my, I got this big heavy spoon, and I chop it around. The meat. I beat the meat. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> this what you're missing, man. 
Well, you want to get off the gene deal station because I'm telling the story, take it too long. You miss shit like this. You miss having fun. You miss having the energy. Yeah, I tenderize it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so the beef for lamb, I always take my big spoon and I chop it, you know, I I tenderize it. That's a better word than beat it. <laughs> right, then I throw my olive oil on it. I throw them on my sunflower seeds oil. Put it on it. Then I put my seasoning in it. Then I take some wax paper or something like that and I wrap it and I let that shit marinate. Hey, Queens DNA royalty, Queens Brooker. That's what I'm doing. See, check this shit out, man. Let me show you how deviant because y'all not going to catch it. Let me go back to that title. Let me go back to that title. Where my girl at? Did, did I go back too far? Did I go with my girl and she put it up. She put it down there. Thank you, D the Diva Wilson. Oh, say it ain't so, mamacita. Toreso tuyo. Gene Dill, that's the Misa I know. Fabulous queen. And don't have to act bad. Yo. I don't know if it was a year ago. I don't know if it was two years ago. But on some time. On the. Drink Temp show. Puff came on that show. I don't know if he was on the pills or he was intoxicated. He made a pass at Fabulous. Bernadette Cooper. He made a pass at Fabulous. Did anybody see that? Or oh, I... Is Gene Deal making this shit up? If I'm making it up, say, Gene, you stretching it. Go ahead with your shit. You just hate Diddy, which I don't. But I will let you know his shit. Quinn's DNA, I see I got the eyes and everything like that. Nate from Brooklyn. Nate said, come on, man. Somebody said he want a party for his birthday. Look at Neil Tolliver. Neil Tolliver say true facts. Look at it. L. L. Williams said, "Yo, Gene, I saw it." Look, Fab said, "What you mean? I don't party with you." LOL. Look at him. Facts. Jay the Kid was looking at Puff like, "What the fuck?" Yep. Kimmy girl, super awkward. Not Gina. Justin Real Father's not Wolf, man. Come on with that bullshit. All right. He said, I don't ever get the I ain't making it up. Look, look at Wolf Den podcast. Speak on it, G. Come on. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. 
I got to see what Reese say. I can't get it out before Reese say something. Wacky World of TV. Reese said, Diddy said, I always wanted to party with you. Fabulous. Kept calling Fabulous Daddy. So, just let me know. Am I right to assume, which I know assume, if you break it down, it makes the ass out of you and me. Uh, you, me. Ass, you, me. Assume. Make an ass out of you and me. I'm not trying to do that. So I'm not going to assume. I'm going to say this right now. If that man made you feel a certain way, if that man came on you on a cable television show, Why would you fucking go do a, a song with him and his chick? What brings you on to do a song with him and his chick? A few. It was always girls in the room too, though. Since you want to know. Wish Mars 10. If you'd have seen my program, you'd have seen the girl. I told who the girls was in the room. I said it. If a dude come on to you, El Mayo Block, El, Mo, El Mayo, I'm still in that. That's butter love. Did I put too much Vaseline on your shoulder? Yo, why would you go and do a song? Man, y'all, 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 man, y'all fuck with me. Let me, let me, let me, y'all don't want to hear what I got to say. Yo, here, here go my book. PayPal, Cash App, Zelle, whatever you got. Zelle, you got my number, it's 201. Nine six nine six one six eight. Y'all not y'all not playing fair. I bring I bring this content. I come to y'all, and y'all gonna have something to talk about, something to text about. The AI gonna have something to 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 make stories about, and I'm about to get on top of the, they ass with my lawyers and them. Give my lawyer a call a day. And say, yo, man, we need to figure out a way. You know, we could sue these motherfuckers for lying on Gene Deal and making up shit with Gene Deal name on. It, it's the first of the month. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get them to take EBT cards. No, I'm just fucking with y'all, man. Just mess with y'all. Let's go. Damn, the comments is 24. Chris Gross, thank you for that. Man, I ain't, I don't know about Chris Gotti calling uh, a, a liar and a punk, but let me just tell you something. Jay-Z ain't gonna fight his way out of a wet paper bag. And he talk about Jay-Z went up there and just punch on in the chest and shit like that. And on did this and on did that. I don't believe that. I've had a couple of altercations with Jay-Z myself. And I know 
I'm not the type of dude he better not even blink hard. You understand? But I can't see on what you call that. But that's Chris. And Chris was always a likable guy. Niggas ain't fuck with Irv Gotti, but Chris was a likable guy. You know what I mean? Yep. Let me see what I'm... Hey, Reese, my chats are auto super chat. My my chat stopped, Reese. I don't know what happened. You can start important comments so you bring them in to discuss them during the show. That came up recently, then no more chats came up in there. And I'm pushing the chat button. I'm gonna put the banner. I'm trying to get the chat button up, Reese. Don't know. I guess I'm going to have to leave that one. I can't get the chat button up. Live comments. Let me try that. Oh, there I go. Now I got it. No, nah, Malik Yoba, he wasn't my type of dude, bro. I don't know what you're trying to get to. I ain't fuck with Malik Yoba like that. He from around the way. But anyway, I'm looking at this shit like, whoa, this man made you feel uncomfortable because I don't give a fuck who it is, whatever time it is, you check that shit. Nigga, what you mean partying with you? Straighten that shit out. I don't want nobody to think crazy. You understand what I'm saying? But because he got all that power, you see what power would do for a motherfucker? Call that motherfucker fab. I want him to do a song with me. Let me show people. He ain't that uncomfortable. I was just reading some of the comments. I'm sorry about that, y'all. But how comfortable are you? Nigga ain't that uncomfortable. Call that nigga fat. We're going to get him on this act bad tape. We're going to do, do a video. We're going to do a video. And we're going to show y'all. <laughs> I 
No, listen here, man. I don't have no problem with Young Miami and Diddy's relationship. That's Hollywood. Y'all don't say shit about Al Pacino fucking this 29-year-old girl and having a baby by him. She having a baby by him. She probably got worms anyway, but anyway, she had a baby by Al Pacino. Did that nigga say she probably got worms? <laughs> that was those old ladies used to say, girl, you mess with that old man? He gonna fuck around and give you worms. <laughs> we don't have grandmamas like that no more. Grandmamas be 40 years old. <laughs> How old your grandma? She 44. <laughs> 44? <laughs> We don't have grandmamas like that no more. <laughs> did it? Did, did y'all think I'm making it up? I know somebody out there heard the grandmas back in the day. I ain't, I ain't the old, I ain't the only old motherfucker on this station right now. I know somebody heard them old women talking. About, Girl, you mess with that old man like that, he gonna give you worms. Jay Adams, listen, I told you, Jay, Jay Adams, but didn't you hear it? Jay Adams, didn't you hear it, bro? <laughs> Diva said, makeup underscore Diva Curl says she had a grandma like that. Look at Winnie Mae. Winnie Mae, she, Winnie Mae said, shit, I heard it. <laughs> Marcus Adams say, my people still say it. <laughs> These young grandmas don't say nothing. These young grandmas talking, girl, you ain't gonna get no Gucci bag from him. <laughs> yeah, Misa, Misa was stand up. She wasn't taking, you know, she took the cross from that nigga, man, and tried to make it work and whatever like that. And then that nigga got real mad when she had got into a relationship and, 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 and got married and had two other kids. Yeah, El Mario, Al Pacino in heat. He's 70 some years old and had a 29 year old girl, 78 had a 29 year old girlfriend and she just had a baby by him. And nobody said nothing. Nobody came on the channel and said a damn thing. Oh, we got a new member y'all. Yeah, oh yeah. We got a new member, y'all. Jane, what's that? Jane, Jamila Mosley Archer. A miss, Mr. or Mrs. It's an Archer. It's a member, y'all. Miss Archer is a member, y'all. Miss Archer. I think it's Miss. A Miss Archer. A Miss Archer is a member, y'all. Please let me know so I can get it right, yeah. Archer, a Miss Archer, a Miss Archer is a member, y'all. Thank you for your membership. I really appreciate it.
Gene, who was Sean Page? I knew a few Sean's, but I don't know their last name. Oh, I was right. Oh, is that is that is Miss Arch? Is it Miss Arch? Cassie, what's up with you? Anyway. This nigga goes on this act bad thing. First, he act like he was mad and confused with not parting with Puff. Now he gonna go and do a video with Puff. I mean, um, some music with Puff and his chick. I got a couple of I, I got a couple of Sean's I know, man. But I, I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, thank you for enjoying my commentary, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Sean says, Cass, I mean, Cassie, nothing much. Just enjoying your commentary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So listen here, man. That shit is crazy to me. Food chill, what up with you, Queens, and you and Queens DNA? How y'all doing? That's what I'm talking about. It wasn't that bad. I didn't see the video. Is the video out now? I don't know how to do that. I've been trying to get the uh, videos from um, my college days in my school. Jose, what up with you, man? I love Crawford, man. Crawford, it seemed like he about it, about it, Spence. You know, Spence is a good fighter also, but I think Crawford is about it, about it. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm seeing. I just want to see it, eBay, because we might see fabulous in this element. <laughs> left, what's up with you, Left? That's my that's my man right there, Lucky Left. Left, we got one more week after this week, man. Got to put it together, Left. Cooking all that shit. Listen, y'all, man, I, 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 yo, y'all look, y'all, y'all keep your eye on this next election. Watch and see how DeSantis, that's what it said, Ron DeSantis, change all that homo shit, all that stuff that he was going against in Florida, all that shit that he was talking about, he was totally against, and the LGBT community ain't doing this, ain't doing that. Watch how he change it up. Somebody told me, he's not going to change it. He's not going to watch how he change it up. He already got confirmation from George Soros that they're going to follow him. They're going to they gonna put money into his campaign. They're going to try to denounce Trump from being in there because they know Trump is not going for that shit. And let me tell Black Misa. Yo, uh, let me just tell y'all something, man. That we as Blacks, and let me just tell y'all what the Democratic Party is doing. We as they knew that we as blacks used to be Republicans before that new deal went through and the Democrats tricked us from coming over. We used to think about education. We used to think about 
owning our own businesses. We used to think more about uh, being a people of substance and character. Not the welfare, the welfare reform, and all that other shit. We allowed them to take uh, the trade schooling out of the black areas, out the black communities. We stopped having our own businesses like we used to. Strand Gay Sparkles, thank you for the information. Tracy R. Raw. We used to be a part of that Republican Party, and they know that we're going to start voting for the people who is going to help us. Who going to give us, because they nigga one of them party shit is right. I'm just letting y'all know. But the Republican Party, if you look at some of them, not the old crazy Negroes who want to say all kind of dumb shit, who want to try to bring the whites in, be, yeah, yeah like that senator from uh, fucking South Carolina. Nobody owes you nothing. You owe. You owe. Shut the fuck up, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. You's a really Uncle Tom ass nigga. You understand? No. I want y'all to understand this. That they are bringing all those immigrants into this country to make them Democrats, to try to help them win the election. Fly guy Derek, Alfredo Grind. I want y'all to know that. They are bringing all those immigrants into the country because they know the black people finna start shifting their vote. They know if Trump wins the primary, he will be back to being president. Flip Shelton out there in Virginia, Richmond, So, yo, listen here, man. I want y'all to know I'm glad Misa came out. I'm glad Misa said what she said. Because I know her back then personally. And that's who she is. She don't play that shit. Not about Justin. Not about discipline. Not about who she is as, is as a woman and her kids. She. Justin and they Asian and, and, and they Asian descent. Justin could act like one young dumb guy if he want to. Nigga be in that chop suey kitchen. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> Justin had the locks and everybody. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> he had everybody publishing. <laughs> Justin Combs. <laughs> Cha-ching!
George Calhoun, I know welfare wasn't started with us. I understand about the New Deal and Roosevelt bringing it in, but the Democrats used that to bring us into their party. Am I wrong for saying that? Gregory Calhoun? Brownstone, peace out to you. It was conscious thought. It was a Jedi mind trick. Thank you, R. Hill. That's all I was saying. And if anybody misunderstood me, then I want to apologize. But I'm glad y'all enjoyed this hour and 11 minutes. And uh, it is what it is. You know how we do. This has been Big Gene. I enjoyed y'all too. I think my day is going to be pretty good right now because I had fun. All right. Deuces. Peace out, y'all.